Hi. As you all know, weather can have a big impact on the performance of turf management products. What we want to do in this video is to talk about the growth regulator proxy and how weather, particularly hot weather, has an impact on its performance as a seed head inhibitor. Since we first observed the ability of Proxy to inhibit POA seed head suppression all the way back in 1999, it's become a widely used product on greens as well as fairways. And when conditions are right, POA seed head production can be reduced by 80% or more. The bent POA green in the photo on the right was treated with Proxy at the labeled rate of five ounces per thousand square feet three weeks before the photo was taken, and you can see there are almost no POA seed heads present. In contrast, the turf just adjacent to the left had no treatment at all, and it is absolutely covered with POA seed heads. Although Proxy works quite well by itself when the growth regulator Primo is added to it, an even more dramatic effect is seen, as this graph shows. What we're looking at here is percent POA seed head suppression on a scale of 0 to 100 percent. And we rated POA seed head suppression at a variety of dates after the proxy was applied, from 0 to 8 weeks uh, after the application of the proxy or any of the combinations that we tested. Let's start by looking at the performance of Proxy when used by itself at 5 ounces per thousand square feet. It started off at 0% but zoomed up to about 65% seed head suppression four weeks after application and even got higher, about 77% uh, seed head suppression at five weeks after application. And then the material started to wear off uh, towards the end and, and uh, wasn't effective by eight weeks. If we look at the Primo, it had very little effect on POA seed head suppression uh, throughout the length of this trial. It's really the combination of Proxy plus Primo that gave the interesting performance, going all the way up to 97% seed head suppression at four weeks after application, and then slowly uh, losing activity as time went on down to eight weeks after application. For the best results, we always recommend the combination of Primo and Proxy. This combination is hard to beat, but performance is only good under certain conditions. One of the most important conditions is air temperature. When air temperatures are high, let's say greater than 80 degrees Fahrenheit, results are not nearly as good. We recently visited a golf course where the POA greens were covered with seed heads despite a recent application of Proxy Plus Primo. This is just a side comment, but look at that beautiful patch of POA that has no seed heads. This is one of the so-called perennial biotypes. If only that was the only kind of POA that we had to deal with. Well, getting back to why the proxy didn't work, uh, we looked at a Pace Turf weather history report for this location, and you can see that on April 21st, which was the date of application, it was unseasonably hot, almost 100 degrees Fahrenheit. The reasons for the lack of results with proxy is almost surely due to this very hot weather. So. We know that hot weather is a problem for proxy, but nobody knows exactly why. One idea is that uh, the proxy volatilizes or evaporates rapidly when it's applied on a hot day, and therefore the majority of the product never even gets to the plant where it needs to be to be active. Another theory is that the heat stresses out the POA plant so much that they make seed heads like crazy as a kind of a survival response. And it's such a strong response that the plant overcomes even the proxy. Whatever the explanation is, we unfortunately don't have enough data to, to really assign a, an explanation at this point. But whatever it is, the take home message is that you should not apply proxy on days when the high temperatures are 80 degrees Fahrenheit or more. If you do mistakenly apply proxy uh, when it is hot out, what you'll need to do is reschedule an application for a day when the forecast calls for temperatures that are below 80 degrees Fahrenheit.